Today we'll be showing you how to properly test the pH of your ionized water. What you'll need will be the pH chart, small glass to collect water in, and the red reagent drops that came with your ionizer. You want to turn the ionizer on, alkaline level 1, and you want to rinse out your container for approximately 5 seconds prior to testing the water. Pour out the rinsed out contaminants. Put four reagent drops in the bottom of your container. Then collect just under an ounce of water to test. On alkaline one, you're looking for a blue color, which would illustrate about an eight pH on your color chart. On level th two, you're looking for a slightly darker blue, which would indicate about a nine and a half or a 10. On level three, you're looking for a lighter purple. And on level four, you're looking for the darkest purple. If you're not getting these colors, it's a matter of adjusting the amperage on your ionizer. All you'll need to do will be to enter the mode menu is press and hold the mode button on the front of the ionizer. When you see the voice indicator start to flash, you'll know you're in the mode menu. Press the mode button three times. That'll bring up the alkaline one setting. You can scroll through alkaline level one, two, three, and four by pressing the alkaline button and you can adjust the amperage illustrated just below the mode word by pressing the purify for up and the washing for down. You want to test the water prior to adjusting your amperage as you have no clue where the ionizer is at if you haven't tested it.